for you. Now we're going to talk 14 karat gold and absolute. This is the hearts and arrows cut. This is an extremely popular cut in diamonds. It's a very expensive cut. It is a beautiful cut. And what we have for you is choices. This is in 14 karat gold. So you choose do I want eight karat total weight, which again is four carats in each ear. How pretty is that? Oh, <gasps> how beautiful those are. Okay. Okay. We have a few more than 100 here. These will be gone. I think this is just magnificent. Absolutely gorgeous and solid. That's not gold plate. That's solid 14 karat gold hearts and arrows. Beautiful. So that's the eight karat good luck. A few more than 100 only here. Then we have the three carat total weight, which really is an outstanding size. That's a one and a half carat diamond size in each ear. So they're not too big, they're not too small, they're beautiful, they're believable, you will love them. And then finally, we have the one carat. And that's a half carat diamond stud. And before you go buy a half carat diamond stud and drop a couple thousand dollars, try these first. Spend your 45, 75 in gold, in 14 karat gold. Try these first, test drive it, see what you think, see how you like them. More women than ever buy this instead of real diamonds for their ears. Most, most women who own only diamonds still buy the simulated diamonds for their studs. And even the women that price is no object, they still buy the simulated diamonds. Over the years, I can't tell you how many women who you thought were wearing diamonds have divulged, no, no. Because it's sitting in your ear, it's a stud. And if you spent thousands on that stud, and heaven forbid you lose one. How many of us have one stud sitting in a jewelry box, right? Where's the other one? Well, I don't know. You lost it. I mean, I've told the story about being at the hair salon, the lady next to me in the sink, her diamond stud goes down the sink. And the hairdresser's like, those weren't real, were they? She's like, yeah, she was freaking out. I don't blame her one bit. The earring goes all the way down the sink. I have no idea if they ever found it for her or not. But the point here is that this is that effortless, carefree diamond in gold. So for those of you that want 14 karat gold, if you can only wear 14 karat gold, the, the posts are 14 karat gold, the actual backs are done with a 14 karat gold core surrounded by a silicone pillow that creates such a great little, almost like a plunger effect on your ear. So they stay really nice and flush to the ear. They're very comfortable. I love those little backs. And then of course there you can see four prong set, your beautiful hearts and arrows is cut. And that cut really, I have to say, just brings that absolute, again, to this sparkling, dazzling, rich place. It just, you have such depth in the stones with that hearts and arrows. So, Paul, I mean, where do we start here? All gold, amazing value. You can't find it anywhere else in gold. You price gold simulated, Google it. Google 8 karat, 14 karat gold simulated diamond studs. You will see. Everybody else is in the hundreds of dollars. Hundreds. Nobody's under one hundred dollars for fourteen carat. Was right? No, you know what I'm talking no. about. Of course I know. Yeah. I, I don't know if the guy, if if the, if the studio has the video that shows the difference between a hearts and arrow diamond and a regular brilliant cut. Um, I know it lives there, but um, here it is. Oh, thank you. Geniuses love it. So you see on the left side of your screen the round brilliant cut. You see it's, it's lovely, but then you see the hearts and arrows on the other side. Look at the difference in the scintillation. Look at the difference in the fire. It's the same light, it's the same setting. Look at how much more fire and sparkle you're getting off the hearts and arrow. Now, a hearts and arrow cut is called a super ideal cut. There is no better cut on the planet it's called super ideal. And it is actually computer aided because when you, when it's cut so precisely that when you look from the top, you can see hearts, and when you look from the bottom, you can see arrows if you have a, a special loop to do it. Now, to your naked eye, you're not going to see that, but you will see incredible fire, incredible sparkle, oh, and these Andrew. are set <gasps> in 14 karat gold. Looks. Looks, I know, just gorgeous. I is that the, the that's eight the, carat and the one? That's the, the eight, eight carat and the and the one carat. The eight carat yeah, total weight and together. the one carat total weight. Look at how absolutely gorgeous that looks on the air. That almost makes me want to put another hole in my head, another hole in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> you mean another hole in your head? Like a, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, both, I really, sure. really don't. But I, that look is so beautiful. And so you're getting, 
your choice here. You can get all three, you can get two, get one, whatever you love. The fact that they are in real gold and they are, as Paul was showing you, we showed you the side-by-side -side comparison. The hearts and arrows is a very special cut. It's one of the most elite cuts in the world of diamonds. Women love it. And the fact that you're getting that literally at a fraction of what you would pay, honestly, to get all of that beautiful gold. And again, the way those stones sparkle, aren't they absolutely stunning? And see, for me, that's what I would choose because I love a big, gorgeous stud. And again, I am never going to own that in diamonds. I have absolutely no desire, no zero, zippo, zilcho, no desire to own that in diamonds. I'd be scared to death to be running around with that, a four carat diamond in each ear. I'd be worried. I'd be checking my lobes all day. Who wants to do that, right? You want to put them on and not think about it. And that's what's fun about this. You put your hair back in a ponytail, you have short hair, you push your hair behind your ear, you pop on your earrings, little lipstick, your sunglasses, you're out. Away you go, and you have the most gorgeous earring. You could be going anywhere. You could be as casual as it gets. You could be going to a ball game. You could be going to a play date. You could be going to meet your girlfriends for lunch or just running around taking care of business, and you have that gorgeous earring on your ear. You feel beautiful. You look beautiful, and look at that. It makes such a, a statement. I love these... Um, this martini glass setting, Paul. Look at how it kind of nests down into the ear. It's not flopping forward. Sometimes these, these studs, if they're not set right, they have a tendency to look straight down, right? They're like headlights that don't look forward, that look straight down at the ground. And these don't look how nicely that's sitting on her ear. Well, and you're right about that martini glass setting because it does nestle right into your piercing. If it was a basket setting and it had a stone that large and it tends to kind of droop, like, you know, droop its little head. And that, that is not a good look. So these won't do that. Also, the marshmallow back with the gold interior um, pushes up against your ear really comfortably and makes that earring sit up. It sits up, points its little head right straight forward the way it's <laughs> supposed to, and it feels comfortable. Comfy, bumpy marshmallow back. And I want that too. I want comfy and I want gold. Me so too. I'm, I'm set. Well, this yeah. was so much fun. Loved it, Paul. Thank you so much. And I know we have another hour tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. We'll save some goodies for everybody for tomorrow night. Love you bunches. Bye. 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 Thank you. Okay, before I sign off, we have one more goodie and it's called, it's under this box, it's in this box. It is called a birthday surprise. If you've noticed the happening going on on my wrist over here, 